Assalamualaikum. Hi, I'm here again. How are you doing today? Hope you are good. Anyway, do you know what place is this? You can feel clean and refreshing in this place, right? So, sebutin tempat lain juga ya yang juga bisa merasa seperti itu kitanya. And how about this place? What's the difference with the previous picture? Bedanya apa sama gambar sebelumnya tadi? And how about this third picture? Of course you know this place, right? And why do you feel refreshed and comfortable? Kenapa kita bisa ngerasa nyaman dan menyegarkan tempat yang ini ya? Alright, and this picture is so different. So what can you feel when you are in this place? Banyak sampah ya. Nah ini korbannya. Uh, the whale washed up on a Scottish Scottish beach ya. Jadi di perutnya itu penuh dengan sampah plastik. It's really terrible. Ya, bener. Menyedihkan. Ya, related to this, we can read the verse in Quran that Allah says you can read this verse and then the meaning is but see through that which Allah has given you the home of the hereafter and yet do not forget your share of the world and do good as Allah has done good jadi Allah sudah baik sama kita dan kita juga harus baik sama Allah dengan berlaku baik jadi nggak boleh merusak alam semesta ini so what can we do to protect the earth now mention sebutin the ways to protect the earth ada berapa saja cara untuk merawat bumi Nah, here are the 10 simple things. The first, you know, three are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Yeah, and then we can be a volunteer, jadi sukarelawan di komunitas pemelihara uh, hutan and yang lainnya. We can educate, and then we can conserve water, hemat air. It's absolutely you have to conserve the water. We can shop wisely, ya. Seperti di kota Banjarmasin selalu uh, membawa reusable shopping bag. And then we can use long-lasting light bulbs. And also we can plant a tree, tanam pohon supaya mengurangi polusi udara. And then we can bike more and drive less. Selalu. Lebih sehat dengan bersepeda lebih sering. Okay, now here are two. My name is Shadow the Shark, and I have something to say to you, humans. Hi, I'm Isaiah the Turtle. I live in Jamaica Bay. Can you please stop littering? Hi, I'm Walla the Whale. I live in the ocean, and I see lots of plastic. Dear humans, I am a grouper. Guess what? I almost died yesterday because of the trash you guys throw in the streets. Even though you guys don't see it, we see it every day. One of my ocean friends told me that it's coming from where you guys live. Yesterday, me and my friends saw microplastics. Those microplastic things are everywhere in the ocean. All my friends are eating it, even my plankton friends. It might not hurt you, but it does, and it hurts us. Thanks to you, I eat trash now. So don't litter anymore, because if you do, no seafood for you. Enough is enough. We want our clean ocean back. We want to eat real food. Can you hear me? Well, the videos were very interesting and don't forget your assignment to give comments for the videos. 
So, we have practiced using can. Now, we will practice it more with different, different topics. Let's talk about yourself. What can you do and what can you do? Apa yang bisa dilakukan dan yang tidak bisa kamu lakukan? For example, la la la, I can sing, but you can't dance. I can ski, but look at him. He can't ski. That that was some uh, example. And now for the pictures, you can say, I can play, I can play football. And I can't cook. I can ride a bike. I can't play basketball. Yeah, that's the example. And now let's pla- practice to make your own sentences by using can and can't. Just make as much as five sentences each. Uh, can and can't. And. For your home assignment, please practice these questions with family members. Uh, ask your mom, your dad, your brother or sister by asking, Can you swim, dad? And then write the answer by yes, he can or yes, he cannot. Alright, now let's watch this video about the pronunciation of can and can't by Mr. D. Check this one out. Tips belajar bahasa Inggris cara praktis dan gratis. Aku sering ditanya bedanya pengucapan can sama can't. Nomor satu baby can't itu pakai t ya. Itu harus didengar. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Kadang-kadang kalau kita ngomong cepatnya ya, nggak terlalu c- <tuk> Tapi emang ada suara. Terdengar sedikit kayak bernafas saja. Can't. Dengar ya? Can't. Tapi juga, baby, kamu harus bedain dari konteks. Kalau aku jawab pertanyaan kamu dengan sorry, no, I... Apa yang aku akan bilang? Pasti can't. Karena no, sorry, I... Pasti can't. It doesn't matter what I said. You know it's gonna be can't. Tapi satu tip lagi buat kalian, can, kadang-kadang terdengar kayak can. Get it, Marby? Hey, can you go with me? Dan kalau kamu mau menghindari miskom, pakai cannot aja. Jangan pakai can't. Juga bisa mengucapkan can't kayak orang Inggris. Can't. Sorry, I can't. Tapi guess what? Kadang-kadang native speaker juga nggak tangkap kalau orang bilang can atau can't. Gimana caranya kita overcome Miskom itu? Tanya aja. Did you say can or can't? <laughs> Don't be afraid to Tanya. And kalau your name is Tanya, pasti you're not afraid to be Tanya. But don't be afraid to Tanya kan? Tanya kan? Aku <laughs> Aku sering ditanya bedanya pengucapan can sama can't. Why am I having a difficulty with that? Aku sering ditanya bedanya pengucapan can sama can't. Nah. Jadi T itu harus didengar. Harus didengar, harus dikali ke- ke- kedengaran. Harus diterdengar, harus terdengar. You, you have to hear the tea. Okay, that was Mr. D's explanation. Yep. Jadi, ya simple aja. Kalau mau terdengar, can cannotnya itu can't atau biasa aja can't itu yang British yang pertama dan yang kedua yang American pronunciation. Alright, uh, the conclusions kesimpulannya adalah kemampuan bisa berarti can. Kalau nggak mampu nggak bisa itu cannot ya. Yeah? And then just remember setelah I can dan cannot itu adalah asli verb satu tanpa ada to atau in. Okay, so see you again next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.